So this is the Food and Health Strategic Programme of the Institute of Food Research. And in this programme, we really look at the relationship between the, the quality of food that we eat and whether it keeps us healthy. And we've known for many years the basis of a good diet. You need to reduce your saturated fats, eat not very much meat, plenty of fruit and vegetables. We still don't really understand why, particularly with regard to kind of the fruit and vegetables. So in this program, we're looking at how the chemical content of food, that's the phytochemicals, the, the things that give food their flavours and their tastes and their smells, and also the physical nature of food, the kind of carbohydrate structure, what food feels like in the mouth, how it's packaged in its structure, and how that influences health. And of course, it, we not only do we need to understand food, but it must be sustainable. We can't advocate a diet in the country which will not be sustainable in the long term. So in addition in this programme, we're looking how we're dealing with the big questions of food waste and how instead of just dumping it in a big hole in the ground, we can extract valuable products for it, either for bioethanol for our vehicles or valuable products that we can use in a chemical or food manufacturing industry. So the Institute of Food Research is one of the, the leading institutes in the whole world that's really just dedicated to work on food and health. And one of the really important parts of the Institute is where it's situated in the Norwich Research Park. So in the Research Park we have a really excellent university, University of East Anglia, and indeed part of our programme is based at UEA and we work very closely with those colleagues. And together with those scientists, we have a really long history of work on kind of food, food structure, food chemical composition. But the real importance of, of this site is that our work on food can extend into kind of the plant sciences through our links with the, the, the world-renowned John Innes Centre on our doorstep, but also into more clinical studies now with uh, the Norfolk and Norwich uh, University Hospital, which is also based on this research campus. And so together we can really explore the, um, the food throughout the whole chain from basic plant science to crop science, developing new foods, doing studies on humans, and then actually clinical trials in, involving patients. And indeed, um, there are probably very few places in the world that can bring all those expertises together on, on, on one site. So out, out of the programme, we have a number of different types of outputs. Uh, one output is many different scientific papers, and these are read by the kind of international science community. But we also are providing evidence that is of direct relevance to consumers. And so we talk to advisory bodies in government and in charities, and they will take the research that we, we produce at IFR and translate that directly to, for advice to consumers. And this may be in terms of the types of foods they should eat or, or how much, and particularly the quality of the foods. We all know, for example, that we should eat more fruit and vegetables, but which fruit and vegetables are important? We're often told to eat more things like omega-3 um, oils, but, but how much, how often, and, and what? And, and, and fish, how much fish should we eat? Um, and then the other important impact we have is our interaction with the, the food industry and the food industry is a, a major part of our economy in the UK. It's one of the biggest employers. It's dominated by a large number of small companies. And through the programme and our interaction with the Food and Health Network from the Institute of Food Research, we interact with many different companies and we provide them with um, the current state of knowledge of the nutrition of food. And through that, they're able to develop new products that will help deliver health benefit to consumers. Finally, we, we are increasingly dealing directly with clinicians, and we find that many people in the in more medical professions are now becoming much more interested in diet and health and nutrition. And there's a realization that particularly to keep us well as we age, we need to pay more attention to not just the drugs we have, but what food and diet that, that we have to keep us healthy.